Oh hi, this is Andrew at Hampton Coffee House with our weekly special video. This week we're showing off our Victorian early 1900s furniture with a special look on how you can decorate your home to look like the early 1900s. Let's get started. So the first piece we're going to show off today is the best one. That's our uh, starting bit of 750. It's an original 1860 to 1870 East Lake China Cabinet or Sideboard, whichever one you want to use it as, or even an entry piece. It has this beautiful beleveled and leaded glass mirror. You have you get three of them, two smalls and this one real large one here in the center. And it has all hand-turned spindles. You get nine hand-turned spindles, actually 10. And then we have these larger ones here. There's four of these, but it's, this is all hand carved up here. All of this down to each little finial top. It's all hand done. And if we move slowly down, we can see how this intricate it gets with these simple East Lake designs. It's quintessential 1860 East Lake style. This is the stuff collectors of the East Lake furniture dream of. And with a starting bit of 750, Forget about it. this is an amazing deal. Look at this, it opens effortlessly. The insides are in great shape. It's all shelves, that looks to be an extra shelf there possibly. But look at this, it's all wood, it hasn't been painted by multiple generations of owners. It's all original. Look at that. Look at, look at the detailing up here with that simple East Lake stencil design with that big uh, medallion in the center and the branches here. Look at this, look at the dovetailing. And just the different woodworking and the original handles, which if you want to, you could shine up to make it look like new or just keep original. It's truly amazing. You don't ever get amazing East Lake sideboards that are one, so versatile, can be used in so many different rooms. You could put so many different things on it. it could be used in an entry, it could be used in a dining room, it could be used in a living room. It's just versatile to where it fits into anyone's lifestyle. And the next I want to move over to our Victorian introduction chair. This is a nice piece here. It's very comfortable. And then our Lincoln rocker, which I'll go into more depth about soon. Because it has a very, it's very beautiful upholstery job. You have to see the colors are so vibrant. If you really want to get them even more vibrant, probably take some wool light and simply and and simply just press it on there and do a little scrubbing in any area where it might be a stain that we are not seeing. But from what I can see, there's no stains on the main part you have to look at. But it does definitely make it would look good with some Howard's wax on there. It would shine practically. So now let's get started with our East Lake and early 1900s tutorial. And now we're back to the Victorian era. This is what this living room may have looked like in the Victorian era. We have all this, this is right here is an 18, 80s charcoal portrait. These were done with charcoal and they were colored this way. I'm not sure about the name. If there's a name on the back of the portrait, which I have not even taken out of the wraps yet, I will tell you and we'll put it in the description. The next, this is a totally separate lot. This is a East Lake style picture holder. It is, you put different types of portraits and different items on here. You can really put anything. The, the Victorians, they would frame anything. That's why you'll find sometimes framed clothing, framed hair. It was actually common Victorian tradition to frame locks of hair from special events like weddings. If someone died, especially if you had a baby that died, you would frame their hair and wrap it around typically the flowers from their funeral or their baby clothing. And here we have another item. This is a nice piece of antique Roseville pottery. This is probably a little more early, 19, later 1900s. This is not, I mean, this, these auctions for display purposes only. And then we have different beaded purses. This one seen here seems to be Art Deco, so 1930s then. These actually, these first began, gained popularity in the Victorian era. And then they're at their height during the Art Deco period as an accessory piece. And along with the Art Art Deco piece, we have an Art Deco necklace this week. That's quintessential Art Deco. You, that's all of it right there with the design, the feather, how streamlined it is. That is exactly what you think of when you think of 1930s. Then over here, this is an early 1900s reper This is a reproduction of an early 1900s City of New York cast iron boat. It does not float, it actually rolls. So this is a nice piece, it's a reproduction. So it is not an original, and, but it looks just like one. It has the patina to be real. I mean, this thing, 
It is next level perfect. This is a vase from Rick's personal collection. It's a really nice lime green. I wanted to show off that nice piece there. Then over here we have some antique, some electrified 1970s reproductions of Victorian style oil lamps. They have this really nice like gold and sunshine crinkly amber lamp. And up here we have our Cranberry Fenton with this gold cherub design. I'm not sure on the date because it's the unmarked and original Fenton always used a paper label. It wasn't until recently then when they started doing the embossed. It has these beautiful cherubs on it. It's a really nice piece. It has a matching vase here, which these both these items along with the lamps, the portrait, the jewelry, the purses, and the stamp will be in this week's auction. So look for those. Those are my picks of the week. And I want to move over here to this nice piece. This is a 1970s Victorian reproduction chair. This is a really nice piece. It's in really great condition. It needs a little bit of work here on the side from someone had a cat or something, but probably reupholster it if you don't like the the mellow yellow color. But if you're not, it's a really nice, it's a sitting chair. This is one thing that you can put in a formal living room, family room, anything. Look, at, look how comfortable this is. It's nice and low down. You can move in all positions. It's really versatile. And over here, this is an early 1900s rocker, platform rocker. These chairs are actually called Lincoln Rockers because they were named after President Abraham Lincoln. This was the exact type of chair he was sitting in when he was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth. That's when they got the name, the Lincoln Rocker. This one is looks to be original upholstery, or if not original upholstery, to be a very early reupholstery job. And it's all there. There's no scratch marks, nothing. It's a nice sitting chair. This is definitely formal living room, family room, any room in the house. It rocks perfectly too. Look at this. And let's move to our next nice piece. This is a 1930s mission, mission arts and craft, whatever term you use for it. Look at the upholstery on that. It's been reupholstered. It's made of tiger oak. So the oak is in perfect condition. It has its original caster, so it does glide gracefully on nice hardwood or tile floors. Look at this. This is a nice sitting chair here. It's nice, it has lots of padding that's been reupholstered. This you can fall asleep in. Thank you for watching our video. This right here is our weekly picks. Most of the items I showed here today will be in this week's auction, only in this week's auction. Everything here has a minimum bid of $7.50. There's only two, or there's only a few items, which are these books, this vase, and this piece of Roseville, which will not be in this item because they're from Rick's personal collection. That were just so cool, we had to show them off. But everything here, Tiger Oak Chair, $7.50. Lincoln Rocker, $7.50. Beautiful 1860s East Lake Hutch. Original, hasn't been refinished, no, it's original, original handles, original carvings, original everything. 750, 1970s Victorian reproduction chair, only 750.